in basketball, a point guard is considered to be the most important position in the game. Instead of being known for scoring, point guards are the ball handlers of the team who are basically responsible for directing the entire offense. So here I'll name the 25 best point guards in league history. The 25th best point guard in NBA history is Mark Price of the Cavs. Sidney Moncrief is next, followed by Kevin Johnson, Dennis Johnson, and Tim Hardaway. Next up is Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose could have easily been a top 10 or top 5 point guard if injuries didn't burden his career. Rose became the youngest MVP in NBA history with the Bulls in 2011, becoming the most important man in Chicago ever since Michael Jordan. But of course, a lack of playoff success and injuries lands him at number 20. Lenny Wilkins was consistent in scoring and assisting in the 60s. Chauncey Billups was an icon in the Pistons' 04 championship run. And another Hall of Fame Piston was Dave Bing. After that, Kyrie Irving was a pivotal part in the Cavs' only title run when he hit a game ceiling three over Steph Curry. Up by Steph Curry, six to shoot. He's at the right point. He stutter steps. He launches a three. Hey! Other than that, Irving has been jumping from team to team and putting up good numbers. But one current player that doesn't change teams is Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard is known for his clutch style of play at the end of a game, referred to as Dame Time. As a leading star in the Trailblazers, Dame has become one of the most elite scorers at the point guard position. At number 14 is a Spurs legend Tony Parker. The Frenchman Tony Parker didn't only help San Antonio win four titles as their main assist man, but he would change a game for guards trying to reach the NBA overseas. Park was great at attacking the rim through big men and avoiding contact. Incredible mode, and then the rebounding there, 9.5 boards. Oh, oh, pretty. You mean that patented spin move by Parker, which right. they like to call the circle to the square. Another great guard was Tiny Nate Archibald. Nate was nicknamed Tiny Archibald because he stood at 6 foot 1, 150 pounds. But despite this, Archibald was still an incredible scorer and a sister during the 70s. Next up is Gary Payton, who played on the Sonics during the 90s. Of course, Payton was an offensive leader, but he was also very strong at the defensive end. He could lock up any point guard on a nightly basis, which is mainly why he was nicknamed the Glove. In fact, he became the first point guard to win Defensive Player of the Year. However, the player that couldn't quite crack the top 10 is Russell Westbrook. Despite being extremely athletic, known for his monstrous dunks and triple doubles, Russ is missing one thing on his resume, which is a championship. He got close with OKC, but he couldn't quite cash it in. Now they are back this time, here. set. Oh, Russell Westbrook! A spectacular dunk and it's a two-point game! But anyways, we're in the top 10 and we'll start off with Bob Cousy. Bob Cousy was really the man who revolutionized the point guard position. He did this by installing a set offense for the 1960 Boston Celtics to run by. Things that included dribbling, driving, and directing teammates. Then, later on in the 70s, Walt Frazier brought flash and style to his position. He would become an icon for the New York Knicks when they won two titles in 1970 and 73. Yeah, but we've got the man who did the job, or at least one of them, tonight. Walt Fly Frazier. This next player at number 8 would be one of the most effective players at his position. That was Jason Kidd, who averaged about 9 assists per game and ended with over 12,000. Kidd had a pretty high basketball IQ, which led to limited turnovers, good court vision, and precise passing. Although he lost two titles in the Nets, he finally got a championship with Dallas. At number 7 and 6 are two different members of the Phoenix Suns. First at 7 is Chris Paul. CB3 started his career on a bad Hornets team, but he made them better. He played with multiple other teams, making them all better with his great court vision and dominant defense despite his short height. However, Paul was unfortunately known for his lack of success in the playoffs. With a championship, Paul could easily be in the conversation for one of the best point guards ever. Another son who couldn't quite win a title was Steve Nash. Nash was a creative passer and floor general over his career. And from beyond the arc, Nash could splash in threes with great accuracy. 
He even won two back-to-back -back MVP awards. However, postseason failure puts Nash at number 6. Right now, we're down to the nitty-gritty, the top 5, and Isaiah Thomas is next on the list. Isaiah Thomas was the smallest guy on the Bad Boy Pistons, standing below 6 foot 1, but he might have been the best of them all. Thomas was a competitive point guard who was a face of the Pistons during their two title victories in the 80s. He ended his career with 9,000 assists, averaging 9 of them per game. However, Thomas's stats don't jump off the page compared to Oscar Robertson. Sure, Robertson played in an older era, but his single season stats in 1962 displays his whole career. 13 rebounds, 11 assists, and 31 points per game. It also helps that Robinson has a title under his name with Lou Alcindor and the Bucks. Robertson long to Alcindor. Oscar Robertson shakes free, scores on a breakaway, and he's fouled by Paul Aris. If the NBA only counted the regular season, John Stockton would be the best point guard of all time. Unfortunately, Stockton and the Jazz had to face Michael Jordan twice in the finals, and that just wasn't fair. But nevertheless, Stockton was a master in the pick and roll with Karl Malone, and would pick up a whopping 15,800 assists from it, an NBA record. Stockton was also a pesky defender, as he recorded 3,265 steals, another NBA record. Stockton really had no weaknesses other than his 6 foot 1 body. At number 2 was Stephen Curry. People won't really remember Steph Curry for sharing the ball as opposed to his shooting. Of course, everyone knows that Steph Curry is the best shooter in NBA history, also of the most made threes in the NBA. But most importantly, Curry has probably been the most consistent in the postseason. With a great supporting cast, the Golden State Warriors held a four-title dynasty from 2015 to 2022. Over those years, Curry has also won two MVPs and a Finals MVP. But Curry still doesn't compare to the best point guard in NBA history, Magic Johnson. To be an elite player, you should have the championships, MVPs, and overall game to support it. And as a 6'9 point guard on the Lakers in the 80s, Magic held the whole package. He won five championships, was awarded three regular and postseason MVPs, and is in the NBA Hall of Fame. And even though Magic held the size of a center, he held the dribbling and passing to support the point guard position. Magic underneath, great pass and Jamal scored. What a pass. Magic throwing a ball of worthy right underneath. Nobody does it better than the Magic. Magic's done another magnificent assist. Here's Magic Jack. 